Hi, and welcome back. Um, so, uh, this is Professor Patrick, and we're going to go over the um, project four that we're going to do for the online project, and this is the ball bounce. So, basically, what this is, is it's just kind of a physics um, simulation, and um, using the squash and stretch, and uh, timing. So, basically, I kind of said, you know, take like a picture of something, or I'm using uh, a coronavirus, getting my frustrations out on it, and I'm bouncing these things, one, in Photoshop, two, in After Effects, and three, in Animate. And then we're going to bring these all together and composite them all together in uh, Premiere, in, uh, Premier, and then render out our last thing. Um, actually, so you know, I have um, I have uh, worked examples, um, the worked sections of and of, for the lessons and outputs of just about everything um, out on the uh, teaching sections, um, and almost all the videos are um, on YouTube as well. So let's get started. Here's the brief. Create three realistically bouncing objects using time and squatch and stretch. And the, the realism is something I'm going to give marks on and making sure that the squash and stretch works out really well. So these are all marked. Um, so I have worked example on YouTube. Here's the link. And it's going to be, you're going to make three clips at 23 frames High definition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. Um, hopefully you know that how to do that by now. You'll make a, a cycle in what Photoshop, After Effects, and Animate. Then you'll bring these into Premiere, and we'll put these all in a green background because in the uh, uh, media production industry, there's a lot of times when you want to put something on a background you put it against like a green or blue or whatever background and that's what they call a color mat. So we're going to bring these in and we're going to uh, combine these things using a color mat to just uh, seamlessly put them together. So when you output this, when you submit it um, on the 8th or the 9th, oh wait a second, 5th or 6th, sorry. 8th or 9th is the um, uh, silhouette. 5th or 6th is, um, is this. Um, formatted AAD376, P4, name ID, dot MP4. Okay, timing and squatch and, squatch and stretch. Here are three sources. Um, these are the Alex Becker things. I want you to really look at these hard because these are things I'm going to be marking on. Um, basically timing to make sure that it looks like the ball or whatever you make is going to be accelerating, like gravity is pulling it down faster, and then that it bounces off here. Here is exactly the squash and stretch um, that I'll be looking for. And then also I have something from Pixar that talks about this, and uh, hopefully you read, look at that too. So here's the workflow. First thing we're doing, I'll, uh, I have a tutorial out on Photoshop I want you to look at first. Uh, 23 frames, frame animation on the ones. I want you to see what it looks like to make an animation every frame. It's only 23 frames, and actually you're copying frames for half of it, so it's not too bad. Um, After Effects, a keyframe animation, you're only going to use about five or six keyframes. Not bad. Um, animate, uh, not sure whether I want to use uh, frame by frame or keyframe, but um, I'll have a lesson for you um, early next week. So we'll bring all of these together on their green screens, bring these into Premiere Pro, assign what they call a color mat to them with each of the green, you know, not taken out. And the thing is, is then you'll then you'll just take a bunch of copies of them, 
put them one after another for 30 seconds, and then that's it. You just render it out to the, to the uh, MP4. It's all good. So, going forward. Photoshop, as I said, you'll take a ball or a bag or whatever. I'm using a virus. Um, and then frame animate it. This is a lot like your walk cycle. So, um, I've got a tutorial for this on YouTube. It actually gives some really good ideas on shortcuts. And it also shows how to adjust your animation to make it look more realistic in regards to gravity. So take a look at that. After Effects, same thing. Uh, I have a, a tutorial out, except the one thing is, is that I do am missing the last keyframe. So um, if you go get the uh, project, you need to put in the last keyframe at frame 23, which should be just below the first one. So just to make it a cycle, but it's still pretty good. Um, Teaching resources and a tutorial at YouTube is right here. Animate, we'll be doing the same sort of thing, um, but um, I'm not sure what approach I'm going to take with it, but I'll um, have a tutorial for you out on next Sunday, uh, Sunday and Monday, and that'll work. So, and Premiere. So, we'll take all these things, bring them into Premiere, and what we'll do is that we will take each of these and bring them into Premiere, use a color mat to take the green out, and just let them bounce for 30 seconds. Okay? And so I'll have a tutorial for you on Sunday as well. So, in summary, this project um, looks at the basics of animation on three different systems and how to put them together. If you think about this, this is showing you how you can take animation from three different programs, put them together at the same time in Premiere, and be able to do compositing and layering and that sort of thing, which is really, really powerful. And I, I have very rarely seen students do this, um, use this to their uh, to their advantage. And I'm hoping that some of you really think about what this means for being able to do uh, like animated backgrounds and throwing uh, a character from After Effects on it and then doing something in Animate and just compositing all of these things. I think this can really make your uh, project much more powerful. So here's all the specifications. Three objects using timing and squash and stretch. Make them bounce around. One thing that's really important, thinking about the timing and the squashing and stretching gives an idea of what this thing is made of. And I'll be looking for that. So 23 frames, 24 frames per second, make a cycle in Photoshop, After Effects and Animate, bring them together. Here's all this stuff. So April 5, 6, 2020. And so that's just about it, and um, I hope this is pretty clear.